want, honey? You ready? Yeah. Okay. You got something to draw with over there? No. Here you go. You don't. All right, so you need something to draw with. Are you going to join us? <laughs> something to color with. Could you scoot me? Just Scissors. That's what mom's going to say. Yeah, let me see this. Come over here in your spot. Glue. Clothes pins are totally optional. And I also forgot a plastic bag. You could also use um, tissues, toilet paper, paper towels. Um, so today we're going to create a Peter Anton inspired sculpture. Um, Peter Anton is a contemporary artist. Contemporary means that he is alive and practicing art today. And Peter Anton makes these gigantic sculptures that look super realistic. So imagine a seven foot tall slice of pizza. Whoa, are you okay? Ouch. I know. I know. I know. Well, you're all right, right? So he makes gigantic sculptures that look so real that you could walk up um, and couldn't tell the difference between his art and a piece of food other than they are gigantic. Um, so today um, we're just kind of looking at his work in terms of sculpture, in terms of food. The gigantic part is a little hard to do with um, the art supplies that we probably have at home. So I thought today we would make a stuffed slice of pizza so that's what the bag is going to be for or the toilet paper paper towels some kind of stuffing all right you ready yeah okay so for this you need two pieces of paper do you have two do you have two all right and the first thing we're going to do is take one piece of paper and we're going to kind of fold it a little bit like this, check this out. We're gonna take it the tall way and art this way is called portrait. So we're gonna fold it like this. But I'm not going to press down the whole center of my paper. I'm just going to press down one end. <laughs> Perfect, just like that, good job. Now I'm going to open it back up. So I have a little fold down here. Okay, now here's the, the tricky part. Take something to write with and make a little dot here at the bottom. Grandma, if you could text dad and tell him I'm doing a video right now, that would be great. He's trying to call. And I'm going to make a dot here at the top and here at the top. So I have a dot in the corner of the top and a dot at the bottom. So this is going to be my triangle for my pizza slice. So I'm going to take this dot and this dot. This is really tricky for kids to do. And you're going to fold it so that it connects the dots with a fold. Oh, I'll help you out. Ready? Mommy, can you help me? Yep. Good job. That's tricky. Here, let me help you. Mama, I like yours is uppy. Well, yours will be yours will be uppy too. <laughs> it's uppy now. Okay. Now see these two lines. Yeah. Cut those. Good job. Let's open this back up. Good job. 
So now I'm going to connect the dot from here to here with a fold. This is super hard for kids to do. But if you pull this off, you get a really nice triangle for your pizza slice. Now I want to show you this cool trick. Because we're making a piece of sculpture, and sculpture is um, artwork that is three-dimensional, we're going to take this other paper, put it underneath, hold our two papers together, and cut along the folded line. This way, we're cutting once, and we're getting two triangles that are the same size. There you go. Yep. Perfect. Look at you. Good job. So here's what you're going to do next. Okay, ready? You're going to cut this triangle out too of this paper. Okay? So this way we have the front of our pizza and this is going to be the back of our pizza. And you'll see why and how in a second. Oh, good job. Keep cutting. You're doing great. Cut, 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 cut. Can you, here, I'll draw a line for you. Ready? Cut along this line here. See the black line? Mm -hmm. Cut that line and then cut this line. Okay? You got it. Good job. Oh, sorry. So now I'm going to set one slice aside. That's going to be the back of the slice of pizza. And this is going to be the front. And now I can draw, um, wow, good job. I can draw the toppings that I want on my pizza. Ready? I do a good spot. All right, let me help you. That's too little. <laughs> That's too little. I'm not too little. This is the piece you need. You, these little pieces you don't need. All right, so what should we put on our pizza? I'm going to start with some crust. So I'm going to do a wavy line like this. That way this top part looks like my pizza crust, right? Do you want a pencil? What do you like on your pizza, honey? What do you like on your pizza? Great job. Ooh, wow. Look at you. Good job. All right, what should we put on our pizza? Um... Pepperoni. Oh, pepperoni. Now check this trick out. You can freehand draw a circle if you want to. Let's see your pencil real quick. If you can find something round, hey, look, a Google eye. That'd actually be cute if we had Google eyes on our pizza. But watch, 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 watch. I'm going to use that Google eye to draw some pepperoni. And sometimes when you cut a slice of pizza, the pepperoni, right, gets cut so I can have some that kind of hang off the side. I love pepperoni on my pizza. I'm going to one. I'm going to Put some Mommy, peperonis on my pizza. I'm going to put bell peppers on Ooh, my pizza. Ooh, bell peppers. Yum. So because this is art, you could put crazy stuff that doesn't Mama. make sense on your pizza. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Mama, so, can you help me? Yep, here. Put this with on there and circle pepper. it. Oh, with Mama your bell pepper? Peppers. So here's here's a bell pepper, right? You could draw a line that's kind of curved, right? So draw a curved line. What's the matter? Then ask, please. And I'm going to draw another curved line right under it. See? Oh, you got it. Draw another one right there. And then connect them. And then when you color it, that'll look like bell pepper. Okay, and you can even make things overlap because sometimes when you put toppings on pizza, they overlap. Nice. You can make this a candy pizza if you want to. You want me to just turn these pepperonis into candy real quick? Watch this. Candy pizza. <gasps> Mom, yeah. Oh, show me, show me, show me. Wow. Make this candy pizza. I think I'm going to do that. You're going to do pepperoni? Well, you got to get this red marker to be red pepperoni. Here, pepperoni marker. Well, can I put on my 
pizza, oh, Mama. I don't know. What would be yummy on pizza? Mushrooms. Ooh, mushrooms. You want me to show you how to do a mushroom? Yeah. Okay, so a mushroom is like a rainbow line. That's a line that curves up like a rainbow like this. And did you know I have a glass marker that erases Oh, you glass? do? Then you come over with two little lines, two short lines. Yep, good job. And then you come down on each side. Check it out. Look, down on each side. And then close the bottom, and you've got mushroom. Put another mushroom on, rainbow line. You got it. Look at you. Good job. I got a book. Come to over cover with on. two short lines. I got a book to cover. Oh, yeah. Down, down, and then across for mushroom. I'm candy pizza. Candy pizza. Mama, I need you. So, have mine, I think, is a peppermint. Paper. Bell pepper mushroom pizza, right? Mine's a <laughs> peppermint bell pepper oh, mushroom wow, pepperoni pizza. She put a banana on hers. So now I'm going to color it. Let's see what we have here for colors. Ooh. Apple pepperoni. Oh, you did? Here, you draw over here. So I think I'm going to actually put... I'm um, not a pepperoni one. You want a pepperoni on yours? Here's a pepperoni Ooh. one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, okay. Pepperoni. Mommy, I'm going to put a sparkly pepperoni you and these sharpies. right here. Can I have the glue? How could you make one for me? The square sure. that one. Um, here. Could you Whoops. make... Could you make There's not much left in that. Why could you make one? Okay. Good counting. I did it. You did? Color in my yummy candy. So I want to do all of my coloring, front and back of my uh, pizza. You could really make any kind of food you want with this. I'm okay. I'm okay. Mom, we'll add some mushrooms then. Mommy, I'm adding blueberries, Here. orange bell peppers. Would you make? Mom, look at. Yep. Here. Ready? Mom, look at. I added orange wow. bell peppers. No, I want to make like pepperonis yeah. like that. Yeah. Then color it pink. Here. I can't. No, Mom, I don't know what you draw. Okay, give me the googly eye. <laughs> there. I want to make the cheese. I want to make the cheese. Okay, so color that. Cheese? <laughs> cheese always means pizza. Pizza always means cheese. <laughs> A mama pepper only is supposed to be red. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want with your pizza. You're right. Color this brown for my crust. Then. Whoa, good job. I'm doing it with my speed is. Like this. I'm doing it with my scribble. You are fast. Cheese. Done. Wow, that was fast. I speeded. You I are fast. I scribbled. You're like Lightning McQueen fast, aren't you? Watch this. So she's making a scribble pizza. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look out. Whoa. Cool. Mm, super cool. Watch this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. All right, so I'm done with the one, front, two, and now I need three, to color four, the back. Five, so three, I'm thinking about the way done. pizza crust looks on the back. Good job. And pizza crust is brown. One, two, three, Unless four, five, I'm cooking six, it, then seven, it might be black. Eight, nine, done. Ten, eleven. Must have an art bag. I need a pizza bag. I need a pizza bag. I need a scissors. Yeah. A scissors. Scissors. I'm making this. All right, so I have my front of the pizza, the back of the pizza. I'm gonna flip them over. Mom, look at I. Oh wow! This. And I'm going to glue this. So if I'm, I'm just gonna use a crayon to show you where I'm gonna put glue. So I'm gonna put glue here and here. I'm gonna leave all this space because I'm basically going to take this plastic bag and stuff this so that these two flat pieces of paper become three-dimensional like sculpture. You can use a glue stick for this. You can use liquid glue. Um, with a glue stick, you're really gonna wanna put a lot on there. Keeping all of this space open. I'm gonna line up the top of my pizza with the bottom of my pizza. And if it doesn't line up perfectly, I'm gonna peel it back off. Sometimes it helps if you stand to line things up. And if they don't line up perfectly, right, I could always take the scissors. And then you need a grown up to help. Yeah, a grown up to help. And I could trim off the extra. Then watch this. Just to kind of line everything up a little bit. Mom, look, I'm more mixing neatly. them up. I'm making them up. Oh, wow. Mom, I guess what I so now I've got like this little envelope. So here's where the clothespins come in. If you have clothespins, they're basically a great Mom, do you smell it, Mark, helping or? hand to hold this together while you're Mom, stuffing do you smell it, Mom, look it. your pizza. Oh, wow. Mom, do you they are. Uh, I'm stuff this. Oh, you know what I should have done first? Should have put some glue on here. <laughs> that way it's ready. I'm going to to make a big glue glue eye. I'm it. Oh, wow. A big glue glue eye. Stuff all this bag in I'm there. A big glue glue eye. So we've done this. Um, process before in art class. Uh, I think a couple of years ago we did, when the Ugly Doll movie came out, we made our own ugly dolls out of paper and stuffed them with plastic bags. So then I'm just going to close this side up. Looks like my helpers got my clothespins. I'll help you in a second. And there you have your three-dimensional pizza sculpture. Now I know it's not gigantic, but it's pretty cool. In art, this is something um, artists call soft sculpture. Um, sometimes it's made out of fabric, could Mom, be made out of paper, could be made out of plastics. Look at that rainbow. It's called soft sculpture because it is soft. Mom. What, honey? I'll help you in a second. So um, I want to show you one more thing if you want to make donuts. Here's my really cool um, donut trick for cutting out the center of a donut. Um, I'll help Mama, you in a second. If you take a piece of paper, fold it in half if you want to do it with this project. Mama, donuts like this. Wow, that is a donut. Take two and fold two in half. Then I'm going to take tape roll and line this up so it's perfectly in the center. This could be Dun. a plate if you want it to be a Dun, plate. Mama. But I wanted to show you this trick. So I'm gonna trace half of that. Do you have that Google eye real quick? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna borrow that again. And then you take a smaller circle, line it up halfway. Mom, like this. Wow. Like that. And you cut along the rainbow. Like this, Mom. And then girl, cut around girl, the little girl, rainbow. Girl. Mom, watch this. First Let's see. Girl, 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 girl. 
Yep. Yeah. And when you open it up, you have a top circle and a bottom circle if you want to make a donut. Mom, look, I made a little one. Fun little trick. Check that out. Mom, look I think you've drawn look. on everything over there except for paper today. I did a placemat. I know you drew on the placemat. As long at, as you didn't get the table, I Mom, think we're good. these look like leaves. Oh, they really? totally look like leaves. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us for the art break today. Um, have fun with your Peter Anton inspired sculpture. Say bye. Bye. bye.